And here we go. It's time for the gold medal bout in men's foil here at the 2023 Busan Grand Prix. This will be the final bout of a wonderful weekend of fencing. Kudos to the Korean Fencing Federation. They were wonderful hosts throughout. Put on a really tightly run event in a, a beautiful arena. Everything ran on time. Attack from the right, so Faconi seems to have a game plan of attacking. Two in a row. And there's a repost. Faconi scores on two attacks and scores on a repost. That's in the first four seconds. Well, actually, it's more than that because the clock seems to be stuck at 2.56. But the way they're going, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't look like it's going to make it to the second period at this pace. Okay, so Chung is 2-3. He's, he's right back in the bout after a little, little bit of a slow start. Faconi. He's got the wheels tonight. The whole day, his footwork has been really quick. It was still the attack from Faconi, but he missed. And Chung scores on the counterattack. Maybe a tad lucky, but it counts. Still would have been the attack. Attack and preparation from Chung, and we're all tied at four. Faconi scores on another attack. Uh-oh. It's a touch. Oh, so what happened here in finish to Faconi? You have to keep fencing. His mask court came up. You see, it's off. That's an advantage to him. And he asked for a stoppage. And his coach said, forget about it, keep fencing. Too bad for him. That's good sportsmanship. He didn't do anything wrong to try to gain an advantage. But you have to keep fencing. That's the bottom line. And he didn't. Post by Chung. Two distinctly different styles here. Faconi is quick on his feet like a cat in and out. Chung is not saying he's slow, but he's just more of a plodding type of fencer. You see, deliberate. Watch him. Very, you know, very, each move is a little bit quieter. And Faconi, his feet are, you know, just always moving and hopping, and quick, blusterous. Ah, 
One get. Great. Ari. Ah, para di pos. No para. One get. Great. Ari. Ah, lata para. Ooh, a nice Post. flick remise One. to the shoulder by Faconi. One get. Great. Just like Ari. in a lesson. Ah, lata Tried it again. It's off target. No Counter a post from the left and off target. Let's wait for the referee to make the call here. Two distinctly different styles here. It's sort of interesting. Well, in the replay, it looked like Faconi pumped his arm twice. Let's see what the referee says. Two, one. One so it's slow motion. Three. It looked like it was against Faconi, but I think these, they should watch the replay generally in 100% speed because that gives the true flavor. We saw that one in slow motion. Maybe that changed the flavor. Oh, there's the dreaded mass cord that came out again. Cherioni. The coach and 1988 Olympic gold medalist. Counter attack from Chung. There's a little blade click, but didn't. Are you asking for review? I don't think so. No. It's attack from the right. Yeah, there's maybe an incidental blade contact, but attack from the left is no, and new attack from Franconi is good. It says in the rule book that a simple grazing of the blades does not constitute a parry. You can have incidental contact. Chung doesn't think this one was incidental and asked for a review. The referees are conferring. And well, I'm not sure what he said. But we we know that he gave the point the touch to Chung. That's. Faconi immediately calls for a review. Wow. All I could say is I refereed for a lot of years, and if I had to replay my whole career, I would have a much lesser opinion of my ability because when you go to the replay, sometimes it doesn't look like what you saw. the referee with the decision. Parry from the left and repost, and now Faconi acknowledges. Well, he didn't acknowledge before. Okay. Repost from the right, 11-9 for Faconi. Chung with a straight attack right in the middle, caught Faconi napping. That's the first time we've seen Chung come steamrolling down the piece, and he paid the price because Faconi caught him on his preparation. Wow. That was a nice repost by Faconi, but it was off target. And he's asking for a review for what reason? Maybe 
We're not sure. Is, is he saying that he hit Chung on the hand? Let's see. Oh, that he used his head, uh, his, his head covered target. Maybe that's what it was. You can't put the mask and duck down and put it in front of the valid target because that's a penalty. There it just looked like he tilted it to the side. I think this is the final challenge for Facconi. And it's a questionable one, unless he gets it right. Let's see. Reach, ref reaching for the card. Facconi got it right. Maintains the challenge. And the risk paid off. Attack from the left. Look how close the fencers are. Wow. That's that's very, very close distance. Distance. Look at this. Chung's attack is no, and Facconi's counterattack or new attack is good. And continuing the theme of tonight's fencing, we're having a switch of blades because that one's evidently not working anymore. When, or Chung needs a break or just needs a different weapon. What a repose by Chung. Haven't seen many of those. That was a beauty. Chung just popped Faconi on the hand, stopped the action with the off target. Faconi's attack falls short, and Chung ties the score at 13. And we're right down to the wire. Attack from the right, says the referee. Chung asks for the review. Let's watch the replay. They're coming back pretty quickly, so this is going to stand. Attack is for, for some of the spectators not happy here. Faconi's one away from the gold. And there it is! With a beautiful repose, what a way to win the gold for Alessio Faconi. There's your champion here in the 2023 Busan Grand Prix, Alessio Faconi of Italy. He is your champion. Congratulations to him. Great fencing all day. There's appropriate music if there ever was any. And Chung, our defending Olympic champion, will fight another day. And he's a deserving silver medalist. He fenced great as well. 15-13, a great way to finish the day and our evening here. Let's watch it parry, repost. Clean as a whistle, what a way to finish. And we'll be back shortly with the award ceremony. Don't go away.